What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna go to the pond We're gonna catfish again with the bread as always, but we're gonna see if the catfish are back after Irma. It has now been two days after Irma has hit here. Uh, like I said in the last video, um, it did not really do much to us. So, yeah. And that's why I'm back out here. Not the next day after Irma, but the day after the next day. So now that I notice, actually the pond is a little muddy looking, murky looking from it. But not that much. And that really just does not really affect the catfish anyway. So we're going to see if the catfish will come up today and eat. And we're going to see if we can catch one of them. Well guys, I can tell you one thing. And that is that the brim are definitely here eating. I mean, just look at that. Yay, guys. Here's the catfish, uh... This was literally the only catfish that I was seeing come up. This is probably about a three and a half pound or so. Uh, it's a pretty nice catfish. This was literally the only catfish that I was seeing come up. Um, and he was not even at the surface. I saw him swimming about a foot or two uh, beneath the surface. And then I just uh, put a piece of bread on there and was letting it sink, actually. Saw him go right to it. And he grabbed it and ran off with him. So, ran off with it, as I should say. So, let's get him back in the Alright guys, so like I said, that catfish was just the literally the only catfish that I saw coming out to the surf. Now, there could have been other catfish swimming around because sometimes they do, do, uh, they do not always come into the top of the water and feed. They're, they're in the area, they're below the surface, but they just don't come to the top sometimes. So that's what I was thinking that they were doing, and I was about to put a piece of bread on there and kind of kind of get it a little... A little wet and so that way it could sink and hopefully then I could catch a catfish so luckily there was one catfish coming up and but that was all that I saw and I just kind of figured that that one catfish probably spooked the rest of them when I caught him so that's why I have not went back down there and I'm probably not gonna go back down there today and do any more catfish but guys even if they're but, I mean, just think about it. If there was not any other catfish coming up to the surface or just coming up in the area, did Irma really affect the catfish? I don't know, guys, but possibly, maybe, I don't know. But with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys in the next video.